Guys, I woke up this morning and I thought I was in for one of the worst chemistry labs of my entire life. I have only taken a couple of chemistry classes in my life and the one I'm currently in is by far the hardest and the most work. And the reason why I thought this lab was going to be one of the worst I've ever done is because I was up until 2 a.m. last night working on just the preparation part for this lab. And granted, I could have started it earlier, but um, I didn't. And so I was working on this prep work for this lab uh, until 2 a.m., which left me with not much sleep. You might be like, well, why don't you just like, like spend less time on the prep work? Well, we're using a lot of dangerous chemicals in this lab that we're about to do. I'll spare you the details. This isn't a chemistry channel, but um, using a lot of dangerous chemicals. And so in order to start actually working on the lab, they have to go through your lab notebook and make sure that you have all of the correct safety procedures fully written down and like actually detailed and accurate. And so everything needed to be like perfectly up to scratch because they didn't want you like drinking the cadmium, you know, because that's not good for you. Um, and so that was what I spent a lot of time on last night. And I'm also sick right now. So going into this lab, I've got not a lot of sleep. I'm sick. And the third thing is I'm in a group right now in my lab project. And you, you have to be in the same lab group for the entire term, basically. And uh, you didn't get to pick who your lab partners are. And uh, at the beginning of this term, I, we, I've kind of been struggling with one of my lab partners in particular. He, uh, he missed a lab, which is crazy because we only have like four or five of them. And so just to just miss one and not let us know that he was missing one is, in my opinion, crazy. And um, he also has like kind of not really helped out on any of the lab reports that we've been writing. So it's essentially like I'm in a two person lab instead of a three person lab. And so me and this other guy who I'm partners with have to split up all of the rest of the work. And it's been a nightmare. And so I was going into this lab expecting to do a whole bunch of work while sleep deprived and sick. And um, I'll, I'll again spare you the details of what exactly we did in this lab. But essentially we needed to mix a couple of different dangerous chemicals together, then heat it up really hot and then take a couple of different samples so we could analyze them next lab, right? It doesn't sound too bad. And at the beginning, it wasn't, right? We were just mixing a bunch of different things together. And even if you mix them wrong, like hopefully they won't just explode. So uh, you won't really know if you've done anything wrong just by mixing them. So I got to the lab, was, I'm super tired. I didn't really eat breakfast this morning, uh, which is rare for me because I usually eat breakfast, but it's the whole story. Um, and uh, so I got to the lab, I'm tired uh, and we, start mixing things and all my lab partners are actually there which is which is great you know so i can i can kind of do a little bit less work kind of sit back a little bit and relax which is which is kind of nice uh still doing my fair share obviously then um then once we finish mixing things we're like all right let's start heating them up we put the things on the temperature scale right uh it's like it's like a little like little hot plate basically um and we're waiting for it to heat up and we're sitting there for like maybe 20 minutes, just waiting for it to heat up, you know, just twiddling our thumbs, talking to the TA, make sure we're not like messing anything up. And um, temperature is like not really rising that much. And so we look back at it and it's actually lowering. And uh, we go over to the TA and we're like, what's the deal with this? Uh, and we actually, there's a lot of people talking to the TA at the moment. And that was because everyone's scale was doing the same thing. Every, or everyone's temperature plate hot plate thing i don't know i'm not a chemist uh we, we, they were all doing the same thing and for some reason uh i don't know if it was like the the battery or like the uh not the battery the uh, electricity in the building or something but uh all of the hot plates like stopped working for a few minutes and then just for no apparent reason they just started working again so uh it took a whole bunch of time out of our out of our lab and i thought at that time i was like guys we are totally cooked because now that like even now that the uh the hot plates are working again we have to wait for the solution to reheat up then we need to like take the samples and there's only like 20 minutes left to class um uh i don't know exactly how it happened but uh our hot plate for whatever reason i just like mad luck a miracle or something our hot plate heated up way faster than all the other people's in the lab and so our data or our our like solution was ready to be analyzed like with 10 minutes left in the lab and we took our samples and we got out of there and i don't know how it happened but i'm i'm super super lucky that we did because apparently the other lab like the one right next to us like there's two there's two building or there's two rooms that are doing labs at the same time the other building or the other room got out of this lab like 30 minutes early because all of their like um 
hot plates were working. And so uh, our class was like kind of screwed. There was a lot of people who didn't actually end up finishing the lab. I don't know what the plan is for what happens if you didn't finish the lab, but um, our group ended up finishing the lab and we actually got all the samples that we needed, which is awesome and, and rare. And, um, and yeah, I, I just didn't expect that to happen on a, on a day like today with this circumstances like they were. Um, but just a, like a visual check, the solutions were supposed to be different colors once we took the samples and they all were. And so, um, like I was joking with the, the teammates, like, Hey guys, we finally, we finally did a lab right. Uh, I don't know how we've done it, but we, we, uh, we locked in and we got it done. So, um, I, I got a smile on my face after, uh, after this lab for sure. Uh, happy, happy with the results. Uh, still going to measure it and make sure it's all like reasonable, but, um, just from a basic preliminary look, it all looks good. The day looks good. So, uh, we didn't mess up too, too bad. And, um, Everyone on the team was actually working pretty well today. Uh, I think today was our best day for, for teamwork in the teamwork sense so far, which is good because um, that's something I'm really trying to work on this term. I want to get better at that. And uh, we were like, since we had so much time just sitting around, you know, while we were waiting for the hot plate to heat up, we were uh, getting to know each other a little bit, you know, like cracking jokes um, and just hanging out. And and honestly, I think I think we're a, we're a better team because of that. And uh, now we're now we're kind of in the zone and we we talked about actually before we left we talked about what parts we were going to do on the uh the lab report and so now we don't have to like scramble last minute right before the deadline to get that done and people are doing unfair amounts of work now we split it up and and we'll see if it actually ends up getting split up fairly but um at least it sounds like it will so things are on the up and up for that and uh things are going well for the working well in a team goal so so uh, I'm pleased to report about that. And uh, one more quick thing before I end this video. Another thing that I'm pleased to report is that uh, a couple of videos ago, I was talking about how I've been without hot water for like a couple of days now. Uh, and we, my friends and I were like, or my roommates and I were like really fed up about this. We emailed the people who own the apartments that we're living in. We're like, hey, by the way, we want hot water. I think that's not too much to ask in like the freezing New England winter. What's the deal? And they said, oh yeah, we're sorry we decided to replace the hot water heater in your apartments. And I'm thinking, why didn't you do that while we were on break over Christmas? You know, um, and, and maybe it broke, but um, also if it broke, you would think the first people you would tell that uh, the hot water heater is broken is the people living in your apartments. Like we had to figure it out on our own that the hot water heater wasn't working. And that's, that's insane to me. But the good news is it's fixed now. And uh, hopefully we won't have any more problems with that unless like a pipe breaks, which would be really bad. But uh, I don't even want to think about that. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's it for me today. I'm, I'm going to go back to my apartment. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Tate Harris. This has been The Daily Report and I will see you tomorrow.